Hey, thanks for joining me on the CGS Biblecast today. How easy are you offended? Or let me ask you this. Do you ever take offense to God's Word? Maybe it's a message, a sermon, something someone says. It's a spiritual leader. They say something to you and you take offense to it. Or maybe you're just reading the Word of God. His words offend you. Maybe you've read something that just rubbed you the wrong way, which can happen and we don't understand the context in which specific passages, passages were written. But in the end of it all, we must realize that God always has our best interests at heart. Maybe it's something that isn't easiest to hear, but it's for our best interest. But in the end of it all, we must realize that God has always got us and what's best for us on his heart. His word strikes a nerve because it convicts our hearts and brings light to what's wrong in our lives. But imagine approaching Jesus himself and receiving a seemingly... Um, what well, seems to be a negative response at first as, uh, as, se- as it seems as he's rejecting your plea for help. Would your faith be strong enough to take immediate, uh, to not take immediate offense to this? Today's reading, we're going to read a little bit about something that happens similar to this. It's Mark chapter 7, verse 25. Right away, a woman who had heard about him came and fell at his feet. Her little girl was possessed by an evil spirit, and she begged him to cast out the demon from her daughter. Since she was a Gentile born in in Syrian uh, uh, Phoenicia, Jesus told her, First, I should feed the children, my own family, the Jews. It isn't right to take food from children and throw it to the dogs. Ouch. She replied, That's true, Lord, but even the dogs under the table are allowed to eat scraps from the children's plates. Good answer, he said. Now go home, for the demon has left your daughter. And when she arrived home, she found her little girl lying quietly in bed, and the demon was gone. Yeah, so read about this Gentile woman who was in the vicinity and immediately found him, fell at his feet, begged him to cast out the demon from, his, from her daughter. The disciples tried to get Jesus to simply move on, uh, not to bother her, but Jesus didn't budge. However, his response seemed very harsh at first. In fact, Jews often referred to Gentiles as dogs in those times. And Jesus challenged her by saying he uh, he doesn't come to to feed others, uh, but Israelites on the bread of life. Uh, The woman's faith wouldn't be shaken. She She cleverly said, but even dogs get a little bit from the table. Uh, With two little words, but even, she presented us with an opportunity to learn things from her response. Three things specifically. First, she says, she first she didn't take offense to Jesus' words. She could have been like, listen, who are you calling a dog? But she didn't. She's like, okay, I get what you're trying to say, but I think you can still help me. She maintained humility before Jesus, understanding that he was a savior and worthy of her worship. Jesus tested her faith, and she persistently pursued him. Even when it it maybe didn't feel right, it felt like maybe something she wasn't expecting, she still pursued him. So, for you, are you willing to be open-minded and make necessary changes when God convicts your heart? Will you be humble and unwavering in faith when God tests you in times of trial? Learn from this woman and be blessed by the healing of life change only available through Christ. Even if it kind of ruffles your feathers a little bit, continue to pursue Him and you'll be better off for it. Thanks. 